Hello, my name is Eric Matsubara, Technical Support Manager for GF Piping Systems. Today we're going to go over wiring the 8058 analog to digital converter. In addition to all the Signet S3L devices, we could also run a 4 to 20 milliamp device to any of our transmitters. Using the 8058 analog to digital converter, we can take in a 4 to 20 signal, convert it to a digital S3L output, and run that into our 9900 or our 9950. This is the 8058 2. This is a DIN rail mount converter, and let's work with this one today. In this demonstration, I'm going to use the 2260 ultrasonic level sensor to the 8058 and into our 9950. We're going to measure in inches, so let's get started. Let's take a look at the wiring for the 8058 2. Since this is a, a dual input unit, Terminals 1 and 2 is for channel 1. Terminals 4 and 5 is for channel 2. Okay. So let's take 24 volts and bring that into channel 1. I'll bring my sensor wire in. Be on the so the signal wire is coming in on channel 2 now. The ground is going to land on the ground right here. So let's use this connector. And we'll land the ground right here to the ground of the power supply. So let's look over that wiring really quick. I've got 24 volts coming in, going into terminal 1 of the 8058 right here. Terminal 2 is the signal going into the level sensor. The ground coming out of the level sensor is going to connect to ground right here. Let's bring power up. I've pre-wired a S3L connector, but as but like all of our S3L devices, so like all of our S3L devices, black is V plus, red is data, and white is ground. Go ahead and plug that in right here. Okay, channel one. Now let's configure this really quick. If I press and hold the enter button, we'll go to the input menu. Press enter. We're going to choose channel one. And we're going to select source, S3L1. Basically, it found the serial number to this 8058-2. The name is 4 to 20. We could name it if we needed to. Channel units. So we can edit that to read inches, gallons per minute, gallons for volume, whichever, whatever unit of measurement we want to work with. So here I want to change that to inch. Inches. Enter to save. Okay. 4 milliamp is at zero, and 20 milliamps is at 24 milliamp or 24 inches, and that's what I have the 2260 programmed at. So let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. Right now, let's see what we're measuring here. Uh, I'm showing 6.3, 5.3 inches. 5.7, and so on. So that's how we wire a 4 to 20 milliamp device into the 9950. If we were to work with the 9900, all we would do is use a 9900 S3L connector. So let's take power off really quick, and we'll put on a 9900 S3L connector. So just like the other one, uh, black is V+, red is data, and white is ground. Snap that in your 9900, and let's bring power back up. So this was set for pH. Let's tell it that it's going to be a 4 to 20 device. So we'll go into the input menu, arrow up to type, right arrow, up, 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 down. Change it from pH to 4 to 20 milliamp device. Press enter. All settings will be reset. Yes. 
and let's configure that really quick. Press and hold enter, input, and sensor units. Here we'd have to spell it out, but we can change it from unit to read inch. 4 milliamp is 0, 20 milliamp default is 5, and I would like that to be 24. So right now, let's see what we're measuring. 7.3, 6.3 inches, 6.7. Yeah. So that's how the 8058 converts an analog signal into an S3L 4R transmitters. And that's it for today.